my ingredients tool. This is going to be video number three of our video series on how to manage or how to create uh, Redmine Project Manager and use it on a construction type or service type company. Um, I'm setting it up for a security company that they do service um, and they also do install so that's I thought that this would be a good idea to set up um, as a video series so um, yeah we'll just go ahead and jump in let me open my Oprah so you would navigate to get to your red mine um, and when we're all done with this we're even gonna change the name here and we're gonna switch a bunch of stuff around so let's go ahead and sign in and Okay, so we're signed in. The, um, what we're going to do before we even jump into projects or so forth, the very first thing we need to do is set up trackers. What Redmine uh, follows as trackers. Trackers would be the equivalent of uh, tasks that need to be performed. So um, this is a it's a security company that does access control and CCTV. So I'm going to focus just on all that. Uh, we'll create a couple of them and uh, yeah we'll move on so the first thing we're going to do is click on new tracker and one of the things that they do is they manage servers and, and workstations so server slash workstation okay and the, the default status of that is going to be new okay we're going to click on con continue excuse me save I'm going to create a couple trackers and um, so we'll go get through that okay so I created um, a few trackers that they've actually asked me to set up by the time we're done it's probably gonna be longer but for now th this is what they requested so I have uh, servers panels cameras and so forth all the way to rack um, they obviously apparently they also install racks uh, server racks so so anyways, but you'll notice that this whole section in the middle, it tells you that the workflow defi defined, um, no workflow defined for this tracker, which means that when you start setting up the projects, you're not gonna be able to, to be bring this up or you're not gonna be able to close th that particular project. So what we would do is here on the right hand side under administration, you would go to workflow and then you could either do it individually or what I normally do is I just select all and then click on edit. So you notice that under all it selects, I could actually either select this little uh, check mark, the green one, and what that's going to do is it can select everything underneath it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna, under new I'm going to select under progress, uh, and excuse me, in progress resolved. Um, I use that normally for like uh, when they do service and that they resolve the issue. The resolve is pretty much the same as closed. So um, on this particular place, what we're going to do is have new, in progress, and closed. Anything in the middle doesn't really reference to this particular company. Now, every situation is different, so um, just kind of tweak it around and play with, with these settings to what your customers need or what you need. Um, but for this particular place, um, new, in progress, and close should be good enough. So I'm going to click on save. And what will happen is they're going to turn green. See, so now they, they, they turn green. That means that the effects that are done. If I was to go back to tracker, excuse me, trackers, you'll notice that that error is not there no more. So, um, yeah. For right now, this is going to be it for this video, and I will see you on the next one. Again, thanks for watching.